What I'm going to do in this video is talk about how, what the difference between a 2D shape is and a 3D shape. Now, the 2D shapes you would have already been familiar with. So, for example, your square or your triangle, your rectangles, all the ones we've covered in the past would have been 2D shapes. But what's the difference between a 3D shape? And sometimes you hear the word solids, and that's the same as, as a 3D shape. So what is the difference? And that's what I'll talk about now. So if you look at this actual shape, you might think this here is a rectangle has two equal sides right here, two parallel equal sides here, and two parallel equal sides over here. So this looks like a rectangle. But if I press play, you'll see that it actually is not a rectangle because the front part here is a rectangle. But as soon as I get up and I move around, you see that it has a rectangle in the front, but actually also has some thickness over here. So it has thickness on the sides. And this is what we call a 3D shape. So in this whole shape, would actually be called a rectangular prism. So it has a rectangle in front, but it also has thickness, which makes it a 3D shape. So if, if it were just a rectangle, it would be 2D, but because it has a thickness as well, it's a 3D shape. And the same with the one below here. So if you look at it, you think it might be a square, because it has four equal sides. But as soon as I walk around, you'll see it has this square on top, but it also has thickness on the bottom right here. And this is basically, all of these sides are equal for this little sofa, which makes this an actual a cube. It's a 3D shape, and it's going to be a cube. So it's not going to be called a square, it's going to be called a cube. So the difference between a 2D shape and a 3D shape is that a 2D shape has only length and breadth. For example, if it's a rectangle, but if it's a 3D shape, it has length and breadth and thickness. The thickness is something that we have that's unique to 3D shapes or solids. And one easy way to remember this would be any drawing would be usually an example of a 2D shape. So a drawing would be a 2D shape because we draw in 2D, and especially this would be a 2D shape. You obviously have a stigmat. But if we put that drawing, if we put that drawing into, let's say, a picture frame, then the drawing itself would be 2D. But the picture frame, because the picture frame has a length and breadth, but it also has thickness to the side, the picture frame would be an example of something that's 3D. So we have 2D being the drawings and 3D being the picture frame. And that's something that I've just quickly done here. So you see the front part here would be your 2D drawing, right? It has it's 2D right here. But the actual picture frame, which is this part here, has length and breadth, but it also has thickness to the size. So this is its thickness right here. So the picture frame is 3D, whereas the drawing would have been 2D. because it has two dimensions. So hopefully you'll be able to understand the difference between 2D and 3D. 2D is just two dimensions, so we just see it from the front. Whereas a picture frame, if it has, we can see it from the front, but it also has some thickness to the side, then we would be a 3D structure. So just to sum up the difference between 2D and 3D structures, we said that 2D structures only have two dimensions. So 2D means two dimensions. For example, if it's a rectangle, it would have length and breadth. Right? So length and breadth, that's all it has. Whereas a 3D structure has three dimension, it would have length and breadth, just like 2D, but on top of that, it also has that thickness. So this would be, for example, 2D Yogi Bear, right here. So we, it has length and breadth, or has two dimensions. Whereas in this case, this is 3D Yogi. And you can see it's gonna have some thickness as well. It looks more realistic because most everyday structures and objects are 3D. So the squares, the rectangles, these are 2D structures, but we'll talk about 3D structures now. So for example, cubes, prisms, pyramids, etc., etc.